It's the final day. Marty! And it's all hands on deck, and it's a race to put the finishing touches on Dogtown. We've got some art for the outside, fans for the inside. And then we got a little air for the dogs. And then we got some synthetic grass coming in for this Central Bark Park feature for Blue and his crew of dogs. This backyard is really coming together, but what's really going to make Dogtown are these dog houses. Wow, huh? Larry really hit it out in the park with these dog houses. Back end right here, boom. Before, there was no shade for them. There was no place for them to go chill. Now they have their choice of any kind of house they want. I don't know what my favorite one is. We got ranch, we got the mid-century modern, we got porches, no porches. These dog houses have something for everybody. You guys ready? My heart's beating so fast. All right, let's do it. Oh, no! Oh, ready? Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, welcome to Dog Town. Oh, my God. Am I dreaming? <laughs> my God. This is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Oh, brother. <laughs> We didn't even make it in yet. We still got to go in. We still got to go in. The reaction in the family's face is the payoff of all that hard work. Total hit. Every town has its general store. Now you got yours. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The main thing I wanted to do was get the dogs out of the kitchen. No more craziness in the kitchen. Now we got this gate, so now you can have dogs chilling over here. You can fix your food. This is going to be such a relief. <laughs> this is a scrubbable surface, so it's an easy How'd you guys clean. Come up with this? this is what we do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> you had food containers on the counter, on the yeah, floor, tripping up. Now you can label it. You got the, all the different foods ready to go, no problem. It's not just beautiful. It makes so much sense. She has work surface to make the food, lay everything out, get it ready. And it's much more workable than squeezing everybody in that small kitchen. This is Come so on in. <laughs> It's the king of the hill. We're calling it Central Bark Park. Oh, Blue's going to love this. Oh, my God. Blue is it's like an igloo for dogs. This was inspired by the trip we took to the dog yard. So all this stuff I saw oh, Blue wow. having fun on, the ramps with the grippage, the king of the yeah. hill, the tunnel that Blue loved. It's going to be so great for his health and his muscles and great exercise. This is dog-friendly synthetic turf. If yeah. it gets a little hot, you can rinse it down. You can wash it off. You see in there, it's all nice and clean. I'm going to go sleep in here. <laughs> no more dust back here. This is meant for dogs. Oh it's like a dog park. It's <laughs> dog town. Yeah. It's the ultimate dog oh park, right? God. We got the cul-de-sac. Oh These are not your average <laughs> dog houses, right? No. The roofs are insulated. There's little vents on the side, yeah. air vents, oh easy to clean. God. It's going to be cool. It's in the shade. We got yeah. them underneath the trees. I, I can see the different types of architecture, too. Might want to sleep in there tonight. <laughs> now, you know, when you say you're in the doghouse, no yeah. problem. <laughs> no problem, Ma. The community pool is open. It's oh. summertime. It's nice and hot. We need a place to cool off. This is, look, SS Blue. Yeah. No life dog. I love I that. <laughs> so now when it's blistering hot out here, they can take a dip in the pool. We got the big bone pool. We got the little paw pool. And then this is another thing. If he wants to cool down, oh, I mean. God. Oh, my God. This is a resort. And then last but not least, I didn't forget about you guys. We got a nice family area here. Oh, my God. Now you can chill, get a good eye on Dogtown. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Look at this table. Over 2,000 pounds of living coral, which all started from tiny coral polyps that Bill grew in a separate tank and relocated into the main tank, provide a natural environment for nearly 20 different species of tropical fish, including angelfish, tangs, and triggerfish. And the fish like to be with their corals. You'll see them rubbing up against the corals. They'll swim into them when they're sick. They like that symbiosis of the coral and the fish. You build this house around this? Around or... the tank. Is it connected? The tank is built separate from the house, because we knew the tank would settle over the right, years. Right, right. So it's not connected to the house, actually. This wall is part of the tank. This would move oh, with Oh, this the tank. moves with it. Yep. All rebar. Yep, all epoxy-coated rebar. 
epoxy coated that way because it doesn't rust for right. the moisture, right? Yep. It's impressive, man. It's like walking into a, like an aquarium you would go visit on vacation. This it's, is uh, two and a half inches thick. There's a block of it right there if you want to grab it. Wow. That's acrylic. This is almost like what they use in the banks? Yeah. Or a little bit more? Yeah, it's a little thicker than the stuff they use in the bank. <laughs> but it's got a lot of water pressure to hold against. Right, I right. mean, you could have used inch and a half on here. It would have bowed. Right. Yeah, you'd have some bow to it, but it would have held. That's the beauty of acrylic. I don't use glass for that reason. Is glass, you get a scratch in it. That's the end of it. And that's it, yeah. yeah. To withstand the pressure that 20,000 gallons of water exerts on the walls of a tank, two 6x10 acrylic panels weighing more than a ton each were installed to provide a leak-proof face to the aquarium. These guys become like your your, oh, yeah, your family. Your family and your, yeah, pets. your pets. And you just chill here and you chill at night and yeah, sit there and watch our fish. And then you go in there and chill with them and just say, what do you have a snorkel or what do you got a uh, scuba gear? I just I have supplied air and I use a full face mask. I'll just sit down on my rock down there and sit with my fish. You know? <laughs> That's it's so like awesome. going to the ocean for me. Some people think as fish is like just an unconscious being. I mean, these are his pets. This is his family. All right, well, keep your heads down. Try not okay. to peek. No peeking. <laughs> We're getting hot now. We're getting hot. We're getting in the zone now. All right, check it out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whoa. That is crazy. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Wow. I don't even know what to concentrate on first. You got your kitten enrichment center separated from your Kira's cat run that wraps all the way around straight to her jungle area. You got your little hangout area here. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I turn around the corner and I just see this huge, amazing exhibit with all these beautiful, like, green plants and everything inside. And, I mean, this is going to totally change everything. Don't you think? Yeah, I can't wait to see him use it. <laughs> he carries a wild cat. So in here, senses and smells. We brought in all these cat-safe plants so she could hide behind there and feel like she's back in the jungle. Yep, she's going to feel like the wild cat now that she is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We have another cat. My buddy Bone Thrower, he's one of my favorite artists. It's his first cat painting. Wow. One more cat doesn't hurt, yeah, right? No, What's no, one no. more cat? Okay, I'll take one more cat. <laughs> <laughs> Got the little pet chill areas underneath. Now, when you're reading in bed, the cats can go play on the side. They have other little spots to go nice. to. We also got you an air purifier, because I know with the cats, you could get, you know, the yeah. dander and all that. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. So <laughs> and then we got the shelf over here. We got rid of the suction cup technology. Oh. No oh. cats falling on me in the middle of the night. So now this opens up. Yakira has a nice jump. Boom, boom, out. I love it. I love it. It takes a little while, right? Yeah, it will. It, this is probably going to take a little over an hour to finish. All right, so I'm going to have to go get some coffee. This high-powered laser is amazingly accurate, and the cuts it makes would take me at least a couple days. And one mistake would mean I'd have to start all over again. Chicky's going to love this. Oh, yeah. Chicky boom boom, baby. <laughs> And then we can kind of slide this one off the table a little bit and start taking some of the middle pieces out. Usually, I use a router bit, so it's a little more of a, a cut space. He's using a laser, so it's super tiny cut. So we got to go through and pop out all these pieces. This is good for that, what, uh, ADHD? Yeah, exactly. You get a little bit of, like, bubble wrap popping yeah. or something. Get these last couple, and we all set. Want to stand it up? Check it out. Oh, yeah. That's sweet, man. Yeah, it's definitely a cool uh, dog kennel, no? Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. All right. You want to help me load it up? Yeah, sure. Cool, cool. Let's do it. We're going to prime and paint it at the shop. All right. 
You guys ready for upstairs? Definitely. All right, yeah. let's go check it out. Chicky, ready? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. What? Oh, my God. Oh, that's perfect. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, my God. It is beautiful. It's perfect. I'm the, speechless. You have your own little zen garden, monkey. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see this. I walked right by. You got fresh parsley. Oh, we got perfect. cilantro, basil. This is absolutely amazing. That is awesome. Amazing. Now we have a room that's for everybody. It's safe for Chicky Boom Boom. It's cool for you guys to hang out. We got a little sound of water. You have the textures of the carpet. As she goes through, she'll be able to map this place out. She'll feel her way around, and yeah. she'll she'll know exactly where she's at. Cool thing with these, these carpet tiles is these pop out. These carpet tiles come out, and you can just wash it off, put, pop it right back in. That it's is incredible. super handy. I think that the textural difference is such a huge part of Chicky's learning curve for getting to know the house being able to walk around and feel the tactile sensations between one place and another makes that so much easier for her to memorize and know where she is at all times. And so we made this little Japanese-inspired bridge with the Tori, and it has the little sensory vibes for when Chicky Boom Boom comes through, she'll know where she's at, and it kind of leads to her new pee pad corner. So now you've got some fresh grass that can be delivered to you year-round. Perfect. That's great. We did the dog kennel kind of flank sides where the friends come over and chill, but also for anybody who's on lockdown, <laughs> just locking down in there. Time out room. Time out room. <laughs> Perfect. And then treats, dispenser, because everybody needs treats. Now it's a room that's safe for everybody. Now yeah. when all the friends come over and play, they have their zone, you guys can chill. You have your little lounge area. It's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> There's six feet of snow outside. It's going to be beautiful in here. But for when it's nice out, we got the front balcony all dialed in. So let's check that out. Awesome. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Now, we got another guardrail system right up here. Oh, so awesome. she builds up a little speed. She's got something to stop her. That's great. That's great.